hustle and strength. What's up? It's your boy Sadiq Hadzovic and over the past few years we made some epic content together but today I'm gonna go through and read some of your comments. All right full day of eating guys. This was a crazy crazy prep. I was eating barely anything and I was miserable during the entire shoot. We got a pre-workout meal. So you see there's no carbohydrates. I just got three and a half ounces of broccoli, eight ounces of chicken breast, and I got my infamous pre-workout pickle. For you guys that know, you know. Comment number one, you know you get in swole when more dudes check you out in the gym than girls. This couldn't be uh, more truthful. I started working out actually to attract women, but the bigger and more muscular I got, it seems I only attract men, which is the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Extra, oh, first of all, the grammar's all f***ed up. Extra swole Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> if that's supposed to be a uh, compliment, uh, Matthew McConaughey is the man. So my man, props to you. Thank you for the shout out and uh, the love. I appreciate that. Curious to know whether there are any complications digestion wise when consuming the amount of egg whites daily any thoughts question mark are there any complications digestion wise absolutely not but you will be farting up a storm remember eggs have sulfate your girl or your wife is not gonna be happy about that one this dude is funny as hell lol someone need to give him a TV show crying out loud emoji yo man I don't even <laughs> I guess as a compliment. How would you answer this? How would I answer this one? Thanks, bro. Alright, thank you, bro. Sometimes you get second in the show. Yeah, come on. <clears throat> you can feel second place in life. And I don't want that kind of pain. What it takes was an epic series. It's probably the first series that really took off with myself and muscle and strength and uh, a lot of people still to this day watch it for some sick, sick motivation and I was certainly spitting some fire on these videos. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Dudes dealt wider than my future. <laughs> That's one of the things that people say all the time when they first meet me is like, dude, don't take offense, but you're a lot bigger in person than you are on Instagram. That's the goal. So, you know, that's what I aspire to be. Comment number two is similar to the first comment. Sadiq, his shoulders have their own postal code. <laughs> all right, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Um, but it's not all that it seems to be. For me to find a suit that fits me off the rack is impossible. Even when I get one uh, handmade, custom tailored, it, it barely ever fits the way it should. So it's a blessing and a curse. Can someone please help me? I recently started the gym and I go for three to four hours per day and I don't diet and don't have protein powder, but I do have two eggs a day and some milk. Would my body still become like a bodybuilder? Can someone help me and also tell me how to bulk up? Like for example, do I have to first me lean so my muscles show can I be fat and bulk up? All right, well, this is a seriously long run on sentence. There's a lot of stuff in here to digest. So we'll tackle it one at a time. First and foremost, you're in the gym for three to four hours per day. That is wrong. You should be in there a maximum one hour. You should kill it and get out quick. After that, you're saying that you don't have protein powder. Uh, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about the protein powder. You should be consuming lots of high protein meals. But I do have two eggs a day and some milk. A lot of bodybuilders, we do not consume milk and we're eating a whole lot more than two eggs per day. So we really gotta step up the food game on you. And um, should I get lean first or should I bulk up? Well, if you're young, if you're a teenager, I suggest that you bulk up. You know, don't worry about having summer abs all the time. Develop some muscle mass. The best way around this is find yourself a great coach, a mentor, someone that's been there before who can help guide you through the process. I do this for thousands of clients. I've been doing this for the half a decade already. So just hit me up. You know where to follow me. Send me a message, email, whatever it is. I wonder what his fat ratio is. I hear he's vegan, true or not. <laughs> there was a point of time where I was messing with people in the comment section and telling them that I actually was a vegan. 
Um, and in fact, I think a couple times I told him that I'm converting to be a CrossFitter, a vegan CrossFitter, or something like that. So my bad for confusing you. I'm not a vegan, I'm certainly a carnivore. That chicken has 0% seasoning. That is right. Um, all year round, I barely use any seasonings, any condiments, none of that. And the reason I do this is because I know I'm not gonna be able to have it come showtime. So I eliminate it totally so I don't miss it at all. It's hard to miss something that you don't have on a daily basis. So it's just the way I am. I like to feel like I'm in the trenches. Is the seasoning gonna make a difference in my physique? Absolutely not. But I like feeling like I'm going to war, like I'm an animal, like I'm fighting for something. And that's why I do my shit with no seasoning. He's putting all this work and it's paying off. I really hope the best for him and he gets what he worked, all capital letters, for. Yo, well thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> it certainly is a lot of damn work. It is a ridiculous amount of work, a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice. And it feels good when people recognize that because people think it might be just steroids or it might be you being selfish, being in the gym all the time and not working a full-time job and not doing this and not doing that. People have excuses for it. But when it comes down to it, it's as simple as just doing the damn work. Okay. Thick, one guy said thick. Say that again. Thick. That's the comment, thick. One guy said thick, what is thick? I'll say it's a compliment, I'm working on my thickness, thank you very much. Hope you're not talking about my booty. <laughs> Listening to this guy talk, dialed my testosterone up to one trillion percent. Um, there's no science to back this up, but words are very powerful, especially when someone speaks from the heart. I'm glad you noticed that on my videos I really mean what I say and I say what I mean. So thank you to that guy and be careful with those testosterone levels, bro. There was another show actually where it was dedicated to grocery shopping. Muscle and Strength was there, I was there. They're following me around in the grocery store with a camera and I was absolutely miserable. Whoever says they like diet food is a liar. It was early in the morning. Last thing I wanted to be doing is doing this low carb damn diet with a camera in my face. <laughs> All right, comment number one. Whoever likes diet food is a liar. Quote, unquote, Greg do shit has entered the chat. Um, yeah, yo, listen, everyone has their own style. Or their own style of prepping for a show. I mean, I've developed my own style through, what, competing as a pro for seven years. And this is what personally works for me, all right? So, hey, to each their own. Hey, Sadiq, how many pickles do you recommend to have before training? Question mark, cheers. <laughs> yo, this pickle thing has come back to haunt me, so. In this show, when I was grocery shopping, I picked up a jar of pickles and I showed it to my boy and I started making a joke like, hey, pickles are great pre-workout. What I mean by a pre-workout pickle is just have some sodium in your pre-workout meal. Sodium is great for pump. If you don't have pump, add some sodium. Salt your food heavily before you go to the gym. Sweet potato is the best carb for bodybuilding. Um, there isn't necessarily something called a good carb or a bad carb. Carbs is carbs. The best carb for you is the carb that makes you feel good. You don't wanna feel sluggish, you don't wanna feel full and bloated and gassy. Um, I'm not sure if carbs do that for anyone actually, but the best carb for you is the one you can absorb and it feels good. What's up everybody, it's Sadiq. We are in the kitchen today at Muscle & Strength. Gat is in the house and we're gonna teach you how to make protein pancakes. Here is an epic video where we did my very first protein pancake. This is my first cooking video ever, but it was just simply a protein pancake. Had no idea what I was doing, but hell, we got through and let's read some comments. Are these for balking days, question mark, or cheat days, question mark? Can I replace the cheese with something else? Maybe, maybe yogurt, question mark? Cottage cheese is my favorite. Wow. Cottage cheese is not your favorite. I don't know why you, why you chose to talk about cottage cheese or cheese in general. Um, I didn't have any cheese in my yogurt. No, it was in the mix. It was in the mix? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? It was the recipe they chose. I don't f***ing know. I don't know what I'm doing. I already told you. I don't know what a protein pancake is and I don't usually eat protein pancakes. But um, I don't know, dude. Wish me luck. Hopefully this pancake doesn't turn into like a scrambled pancake. Oh, it's breaking on me. It's breaking on me, guys. Boom. Not bad. A little bit of damage, but you know what? It's still edible. We'll be fine. I'm Sadiq Hadzovic. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe below.